Peters. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about Egyptian culture. All right, so here we go. All right, your note style for this one, um, you're going to notice a couple different things here with this one, all right? Uh, the first one is you're going to want to draw a pyramid out. Um, reason being is that we're going to talk about the social classes of the Egyptians. So the pyramid is an excellent source for that. Uh, and then the rest of the notes you're probably going to want to just put in bullet style, okay? Uh, so again, this is to serve as a purpose of filling in any gaps uh, that you may have um, from your notes that you took out of the book. All right, so here we go. All right, so the Egyptian culture was divided up into a, a really a giant pyramid, okay? At the uh, top of it uh, were the pharaohs, okay? And this is a very small piece of it, all right? These are your pharaohs. Okay, reasons being so small is that you can only have one pharaoh at a time. All right, underneath that then, um, you have the upper class, okay? And the upper class consisted, uh, or consists of the priests, the pharaoh's court, um, the nobles that have large estates, all right? So pretty much anybody that has uh, a lot of money in there, all right? Underneath them is where you have uh, the middle class, okay? In the middle class uh, is where you're going to find your merchants and your skilled workers. All right, and then the largest one down here, uh, I left it large for a reason, is because this is uh, your peasants. All right, they weren't called lower class; they're just called peasants at this time. Uh, these peasants were mainly um, pretty much anybody that wasn't up here in this in these three classes. Uh, so your farmers. All right, so, um, so to go along with kind of the way everyday life work is that you're going to have slaves uh, in here, all right? And a lot of the slaves were catch captured, um, were captured prisoners, all right? Um, they had a lot of rights. They could own um, personal items and inherit land from their masters, um, but they were still considered slaves. So until that time, uh, they did what their masters asked of them. All right, so again, you know, they worked the land of the wealthier people. Um, women had equal rights as well as men, uh, had the equal rights of men. Um, so this is different for almost every other society that we've looked at so far in that women um, not only could hold jobs, but they could own businesses uh, and things of that nature, okay? So some achievements uh, in the Egyptian culture. Um, first of all, the writing system of hieroglyphics, okay? Uh, a unique writing system in that, you know, it worked a lot like the cuneiform in that each symbol stood for either a sound or a symbol um, or another word or idea. Um, and then also, some achievements of the Egyptian culture was they made paper out of papyrus, okay? So they used these, this reed, skinned it down, and then made this beautiful... Um, kind of rough paper. Alright, uh, the length of the year was based on astronomical, astronomical observations, so the Egyptians studied the stars and they're able to pinpoint a calendar that is very similar to the one that we have today. Another interesting one is that they had a basic math. They understood you know, addition, subtraction, division, multiplication, uh, all part because of the complexity of their civilization and the trading industry. Right. Um, they created a standard use unit of measurement, which was great for trading because it allowed the same amount of thing, or it allowed for trading to be done in a way that didn't rip one person off or another. Okay. Um, they had surgeons that were able to perform surgery, um, trained doctors that could set bones, um, you know, sew you up, things of that nature that wasn't really around at this time as well. And finally, uh, they were able to create medicines from plants. Uh, this was unique because they, it's called herbology, and they understood that plants have medical properties. So, like, if you're in pain, you know, if you chew on the leaf of this one plant, you know, it would make you feel better. Okay? 
So hopefully this helped fill in some gaps that you may have had. If you didn't have any gaps, great. You're doing a great job in class. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know. I'll see you guys later. Bye.